In the last lecture, we learned that when a function is called, an execution context for that function gets created in the call stack. And for each execution context, a variable object gets created. And this variable object stores all the variable and inner function declaration as its property. So let's have a quick recap of what we learned in our last lecture. Here, we are going to use the same example which we used in our last lecture. So here we have this student details function and to this student details function we are passing this student ID and name parameter. And inside this function we are also declaring these three variables using different keywords. And then we also have one function declaration and two function expressions. And then we are calling this student details function. So when this student details function will be called an execution context for this student details function will be created in call stack. And an execution context gets created in two phases, creation phase and execution phase. During the creation phase, the function code will be scanned for function declaration and for each function, a property is created in the variable object and it is assigned with the function definition. Similarly, the code is scanned for variable declaration and for each variable, a property is created in the variable object and it is set to undefined if the variable is created using var keyword. Otherwise, if the variable is created using let or const keyword, then it will be set to uninitialized. So in this example, in the creation phase, when the JavaScript engine will scan over this function code, first of all, it will create an argument object inside this variable object. And this argument object will store all the arguments which is passed to this student details function. Then for this university variable, a property will be created inside this variable object. Now, since this university variable is created using let keyword, this property will be assigned with the value uninitialized. Then a property for this campus variable will also get created. And since this campus variable is declared using const keyword, this campus property is assigned with the value uninitialized. Then a property for this semester variable will also get created. And this semester variable is declared using var keyword. So this property, this semester property, which is created inside this variable object, it will be assigned with the value undefined. All right. Then we also have a function declaration. And in case of a function declaration, a property gets created on the variable object with that function name and it gets assigned with the definition of that function. So this definition will be assigned to this print details property. All right. Then we have two function expression. Now, a function expression is simply a function assigned to a variable. So here, this greet and this welcome is ultimately a variable and they are not a function. And just now we learned that for each variable, a property gets created in the variable object. And if the variable is declared using var keyword, then that property which is created for that variable, it will be assigned with undefined. Otherwise, it will be assigned with uninitialized. So a property for this greet variable will be created and it will be set to undefined and a property for this welcome variable will also get created and it will be set to uninitialized. So in this way, the variable object for this function will be created and it will store all the function declaration and uh, I mean all the variable and function declaration as its property. Now, remember here that the execution of the code has not yet started. We are still in the creation phase. And since for each variable and function declaration, there is, all, there is already a property created inside this variable object, that means these variables and functions are already stored in the memory before the execution of the code has actually started. And because of this, these variables and functions can be used before they are declared, before the execution actually starts. And this is called as hoisting in JavaScript. So in JavaScript, some of the variables and functions are available to use in JavaScript program before it is declared. And this is called as hoisting in JavaScript. Let's understand this with an example. So here we have the same student details function which you saw in this slide. Now we learned that for each of these variables, a property will be created in the variable object during the creation phase. Similarly, for this function declaration also, a property will be created in the variable object in the creation phase. 
and same goes for these two function expressions as well and because of this since these variables and these functions are already available in the memory we can use it before they are declared for example here at this line number four we are declaring this semester variable now because of hoisting i can use this semester variable before it is created or before it is declared let's see that so at the top let's try to log this semester variable so let's say console.log semester let's save the changes and here you can see in the developer console undefined is logged so here i'm able to use this semester variable before it is declared and i'm not getting any error but the result is undefined but here we have assigned this value 3 to the semester variable so you might ask why it is logging undefined to understand this let's go back to our slide let's say in the creation phase once the variable object is created the scope chain and this variable is also determined so here the creation phase will complete and the execution phase will start now in our code we try to log the semester variable at top okay so before it was declared so when the execution will start we are trying to log the value of this semester variable okay now the javascript engine in the execution phase the javascript engine will try to find this semester variable now this semester variable is already present in the memory because we have this semester property here on this variable object okay so it is already present in the memory but its value is set to undefined so the javascript engine will return that value I mean JavaScript engine will execute that console.log statement and since we are trying to log the value of the semester variable before it is declared it will log undefined because in the memory the semester variable has this value undefined right the semester variable will be set to this value 3 only after this line will be executed right so that's why in the developer console you saw that undefined was logged now let's try to use this campus and university variable before they are declared so here let's say console.log and let's try to log uh, sorry university variable so university let's save the changes and here you can see we have an error cannot access university before initialization let's try to log this campus variable now this campus variable is declared using const keyword okay so let's try to log this let's save the changes and again we have the same error cannot access campus before initialization so let and const the variable declared using let and const cannot be hoisted well technically they are actually also hoisted but since their value is set to initialized that means these variables are not initialized with any value so that means there is no value to work with at all and that's why we get this error okay so technically the variables declared using let and const are also hoisted but in practice it looks like these variables are not hoisted at all and that's because these variables declared using let and const are initialized with the value uninitialized in the variable object okay that means they does not contain any value at all okay so we say that these variables are placed in a so-called temporal dead zone or tdz which makes it so that we cannot access these variables between the beginning of the scope and the place where the variables are declared now we will talk about temporal dead zone in great detail in this lecture in a second now as a consequence if we attempt to use a variable declared using let or const keyword then we get an error like this all right so remember that variable declared using var keyword can be hoisted but the variable declared using let and const cannot be hoisted that means they cannot be used before they are declared so let's comment this line of code here let's save the changes in order to avoid that error all right now what about functions well a function declaration can be hoisted that means you can use a function declaration before it is created so here we have this print details function okay now let's try to use this print details function before it is declared so let's copy this 
and let's try to execute this function. If I save the changes, you can see that this print details function has been executed and it has logged these details. This means that we can call a function, you know, a function declaration before it is created. So a function declaration also supports hoisting. A function declaration can also be hoisted. But a function expression cannot be hoisted. So here we have two function expressions. Now we learned that function in case of a function expression, we assign an anonymous function to a variable. So these are ultimately variables and these are not functions. So in the variable object, this greet is assigned with the value undefined and this welcome is assigned with the value uninitialized, right? So when we try to call this function before it is created, let's try to do that. Remember that this greet variable is storing this value undefined. Okay, and on this undefined, we are using this parenthesis like this, but this undefined is not a function, right? So here we will get an error. Let's save the changes. And here you can see we have an error. Greet is not a function. Okay, because this greet is storing this value undefined and this undefined is a primitive value. We cannot use it as a function. Okay. And what about this welcome function? Well, this welcome is assigned with the value uninitialized. So if we try to access it before we are using it to declare, I mean to create this function, we cannot use it because this welcome is assigned with the value uninitialized. So we will get the same error that, okay, let's first comment this code. Let's save the changes. So here you can see we get the error cannot access welcome before initialization. So since this welcome is not initialized with any value, we cannot use it before initialization. All right. So variable declared using var keyword can be hoisted and a function declaration can be hoisted. Variable declared using let or const cannot be hoisted and a function expression also cannot be hoisted. And just now I showed you the reason for that. Now we learned that a variable declared using var keyword can be hoisted. That means we can use that variable before it is declared. But let me tell you one thing. This is not a good practice. Okay. Trying to use a variable before it is declared is not a good practice. This behavior can be the reason behind many bugs in JavaScript. And that's the reason why var is rarely used in modern JavaScript programs to declare a variable. Now we learned that the variables declared using let and const cannot be hoisted because of something called as temporal dead zone. So let's understand what this temporal dead zone is. A temporal dead zone is the zone between the scope and the place where the variable is declared. So in this example, we are trying to use this semester variable before it is declared. So we are declaring this semester variable here and we are trying to use it before it is declared. Now we learned that a variable declared using let and const cannot be used in the temporal dead zone. Now what is a temporal dead zone? The temporal dead zone is the zone between the scope and the place where the variable is declared. So this semester variable is declared inside this if block. So its scope starts from this, you know, curly brace. All right. So the temporal zone is the zone from where the scope starts and the place where the variable is declared. So in this example, the temporal zone for the semester variable is this zone. Okay. So if we try to use this semester variable inside this temporal zone, we will get an error saying that cannot access semester before initialization. This means that JavaScript knows that there is a variable which is declared using let keyword. Okay, there is a variable called semester which is declared using let keyword. But since we are trying to use it in the temporal zone, JavaScript engine is throwing this error. It is not saying that this variable is not defined. Okay, because JavaScript knows that we have a variable called semester. Now here we are trying to log a variable called x, but we have not de declared this variable x anywhere in this program. So in this case, JavaScript will throw another error, which is 
x is not defined okay but this is not the case for this semester variable okay this means that when we try to use a variable like semester in the temporal dead zone javascript engine knows that this variable is declared but it is not initialized okay so each and every variable declared using let and const get their own temporal dead zone that starts at the beginning of the scope until the line where it is declared and the variable is only safe to use after the temporal dead zone all right the main reason this temporal dead zone was introduced in es6 is to overcome the issue with the variable declared using var keyword because using a variable which is set to undefined can cause serious bugs which might be hard to find that is because accessing variables before declaration is a bad practice and it should be avoided and the best way to avoid it is by simply getting an error when we attempt to do so and that's exactly what the temporal dead zone does with let and const keyword now some of you might ask if the hoisting creates so many problems then why does it exist in the first place well the creators of javascript basically implemented hoisting so that we can use function declaration before they are declared because this is essential for some programming techniques some people also think it makes code a lot more readable now the fact that it also works for var declaration because that was the only way hoisting could be implemented at that time so we can say that the hoisting of var variable are just a byproduct of hoisting function and it simply seemed like a good idea to simply set variables to undefined which is declared using var keyword also remember that javascript was never intended to come you know never intended to become the huge programming language that it is today and one more reason is that we have this hoisting in javascript still is because we cannot remove this feature from the language now and so we just use the let and const to work around this all right so this is all about hoisting in javascript now hoisting is a topic which is frequently asked in interviews and if an interviewer asks you what is hoisting in javascript then you can simply say that in javascript there are some variables and functions which can be used before they are declared and that is called as hoisting but if you can explain how hoisting works then that leaves a different impact on the interviewer and that's what you learned in this lecture so this is all from this lecture thank you for listening have a great day